Dr. Patterson run down a few statistics for you. The scary thing about the statistics that he shared still don't give you the overall picture. Even though there are increases in some areas, the statistics are scary. When I was looking at being an NBA player, I didn't know the statistics that there were 540, 545,000 high school players, 17,500 college players, and 60 get drafted into the NBA. Those aren't good odds to begin with, right? So the odds are stacked against us. And that's not even breaking it down in terms of locale, environment. Uh, family history, family support, mentors, any of those things. So think about that from a standpoint of being alone or isolated and then looking at those odds. According to statistics, almost 50% of families headed by a single female parent are in poverty. My mother raised me and my brother on her own. My father was wherever he was doing whatever he was doing. The odds were already stacked against me. One in three African American males will spend a significant amount of time in prison in their lifetime. I saw it on your board over there. It said one in four. It's one in three now. So even though there were some mild accomplishments in some of the statistics, overall, it looks bleak to us. So if you look to your left at that brother, you look to your right at that brother, one of them will spend a significant amount of time in jail, according to statistics. And if one of them don't, you are that one according to statistics. According to statistics, African American males are five times more likely to be victims of violent crimes in the United States. The United States have, between Germany, India, um, Canada, England, we have more African American males ages 18 to 24 incarcerated in the United States than all five or four of them together. We're not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be here, according to those statistics. Once you reach college, you heard Dr. Patterson, one in six African-American males graduate with a degree, according to statistics. That doesn't sound good, does it? So that means you look down your row, one of you will graduate, according to statistics. And I'm emphasizing according to statistics because we're going to change those statistics. I'm not supposed to be standing here. We're going to talk about Shifting into success with the mindset change. I had every reason, every excuse to fail and to be okay with that. No one would have questioned it. Everyone expected it because they would say it couldn't, he was just a statistic. I became the first male in my family to graduate high school. If I dropped out of college, I was still a success to my family. I was the first male in my family to leave Baltimore. That video, that's why. I was the first male in my family to graduate college. I was the first male in my family to start my own business. I was the first male in my family to become a published author. I was the first male in my family to create a, a business that helped other people do the same. And you'll hear from one of our authors, Patrice Little, a little bit later. According to statistics, I am not supposed to be here. According to statistics, you are not supposed to be here. But we can change that by changing our mind. 